You know, after so many years and so many lessons that I gave and so many tournaments that I played myself, uh, I started playing since I was six and I played uh, junior professional tournaments and college tournaments. I find that so many players focus so much on technique and, and, and tactics and things like that, but they certainly don't take in consideration the mental part of the game. And in my opinion, it could be the most important part of the game. If you look on TV, if you're watching tournaments, uh, there's so many great players out there. There's so many players that could have been the top 10 in the world and you might wonder why they're not. You are following those players, you watch them on TV, they go play against top players in the world, they have match points, uh, they win some sets really easy, but they cannot win the tournaments or matches. And you wonder why, why is it happening? I mean, they have the strokes, I mean, they have the backhand, they have the forehand, they have the serve, they have volleys, they have absolutely everything to become top players. And what is it? It's, it's all mental here sometimes. And how, how do you get better at it? You know, when I was a junior, sometimes I had matches where I'm playing unreal, you know, I'm hitting ace here, ace there, I'm crushing that forehand, gets to tie break, and all of a sudden you feel, you feel the hard bit, your toss just goes a little bit off where you're still hitting a pretty good serve but it just misplaced it a little, a little bit and where your opponent gets control of the point and all of a sudden you lose the match of that one little point where you got just a little bit tense and you see some guys that are number one in the world whatnot and they get to that point and they hit an ace but you feel like you have the same exact serve you just got stressed what if you take that stress out of the equation. What if you can control your emotions? How much better you would be playing? Mental toughness, a lot of people talk about mental toughness. How do you become mentally tough? How do you control your anger? How do you control those things? How do you stay positive throughout the, uh, your match? Now we're gonna talk about it very briefly. I'll give you a few pointers. What I need from you, if you wanna learn more about mental toughness, you have to come down the link below. We'll post more videos on that. I, don't, I think it's very undervalued and people really need to focus on it and get bad at it, but a lot of people just don't pay enough attention to it. So, today one thing we're gonna happen. How many times have you find yourself missing the shot and going down like this? with your racket down and you or even like slamming that racket down on the ground and hitting it down and being so negative and you know you shouldn't do it you give it that, that impression you, your body language is weak your opponent jumps on top of that how many times have you done this when you win the point and you go like let's go come on yes I got it how many times have you done that I hope you did now the best way to play tennis is when you're in the zone everybody knows that how do you get in that area in the zone when your brain is not really thinking it's a part where everything is quiet no matter how much noise around how many people watching you're just in that vacuum you can control the point you see the ball coming to you so clean and the time almost slows down but we mess it up with thinking thinking about small elements that don't really help our game we're thinking about the we're thinking about other things. We're thinking about what we want to hit about. There's too many things that mess our mind up. So there's a few tippers that I'm going to give you. Number one, uh, you have to find the best routines for you. So for example, some people before they start serving, they bounce the ball several times. And sometimes you can see Djokovic, for example, he bounces the ball, I don't know, sometimes to 10 times. Boris Becker used to do this rocking motion. Uh, in order to get ready for until he gets in the zone you have to find a routine that relaxes you number one you have to be staying relaxed you that confidence coming to you if you don't feel that you're not ready to play the point you have to go through different routines if you don't have that yet you have to go through different routines some people touch the baseline some people uh, touch their ears whatever it is they'll get you in that zone now the best way to do it the time when you play your best tennis, you're coming on the court and you're playing that best tennis, you have to really realize that feeling. You have to save that feeling and understand and try to remember everything you have been doing throughout the match. Maybe you fold your towel in a certain way that match, or maybe you talk or you made jokes the way you got ready for the court. Well, maybe the music you put on uh, during that match because those things, if you do it again, we'll recreate the same environment where you're going to play the same tennis. So now, second pointer, I think it's uh, one of 
the the ones that people don't really do it it requires time it's actually conquering your own mind by practicing and what I mean by that is you can actually use as I said routines but tennis ball tennis rackets and we have a video already about it where people would bounce the ball and focus on the sound visual and your opponent to see uh, if you can zone out and a good example if you're sitting in front of TV some you're watching TV and you don't know what's going on you're feeling calm you just you don't even pay attention to TV at the moment that's when you zone out we call it zoning out but do you no do you feel like uh, you're thinking about anything no you're completely calm you're sitting there you're just flipping those channels now this is the first stage one how to get in the zone if you can't accomplish that side so for example if I'm serving I'm bouncing the ball I'm focusing on the feel of the ball in my hand visual of the ball right and the sound of the ball bouncing now am I gonna am I zone out that's the first stage you're already on that track now you have to have a goal before so when I'm before the serve I might feel like all right what am I liking what am I liking in my game maybe I'm not as aggressive maybe I'm not moving my feet as much as I'm supposed to so this is what I'm gonna have a goal I'm gonna be supposed I'm gonna I gotta feel the energy coming into me and as I'm bouncing my ball I'm zoning out this is the last thing is gonna stay in my head that's what you're gonna be focused on the whole point and it's gonna be intuitive your instinct is gonna do it but in order to do that the third tipper is you have to have burning desire to change you can be watching this video or any other videos of other coaches and uh, some other uh, people but if you're not if you don't have a burning desire to change and accomplish those things and get better at it it will not help you might do it a couple of times you might be like oh yeah let's do it I'll bounce the ball a couple of times it worked in practice but you don't work on it it will not help you it also requires as much time as you spend on the tennis court and sometimes the crossovers because you can practice on your mental toughness while you're practicing on the tennis court but if you do not spend enough time it will not work so guys, thank you so much today. I really appreciate your time watching our YouTube channel. Please write some comments under the link below. Uh, we're coming out with a new course that you guys are going to love absolutely. And uh, just look under links below. We're going to post it. Uh, it's absolutely free. And thank you so much.